first, let's take a quick look at this adorable cake. He is very different, but he has the same construction that we've been talking about pretty much the past two segments. He is a cake pan, dense like a pound cake. A pound cake because with a three-dimensional pan, you want something a little bit firmer. You don't want something real soft like a sponge cake. But he has dowel rods underneath him. He will, on top of the, in this yellow cake, that's a 9 by 13. It's two 9 by 13s on top. Okay. Now, what we did to start with him here is we outlined his mouth, did his nose, and did his eyes. And you can spatula ice his ears in pink. And this other you can actually do with a round tip and then pat it down with some uh, confectioner sugar uh, on your finger. Now, you're, you're doing the stars over the crumb coat that was... Yes. was already placed there, right? And Yes, because that way it helps keep the control of your crumbs. So I'm just doing a star, so I squeeze, stop, squeezing, lift. Squeeze, stop, squeezing, lift. And this is the star tip with buttercream icing. Uh-huh, with chocolate using. buttercream icing. Now, I'm not going to finish him, but let's go ahead and show you how he goes on the cake. Okay. Remember we talked about the dowel rods before. This right. is hidden pillar. You want to mark just below your cake line, and then you cut, cut with it. your PVC cutter. But okay. I've already pre-cut some. Now, to know exactly where he's going to go, you can see there's some little uh, things little that stick out right here. Their feet so on the I'm going to mark this. where it goes with the plate, okay. the separator plate. You're going to push And then I'm just going to push them in. While you do that, I'm going to put some dots on the side. Can I do that? Sure. May I? And you just push them down in. And this is just to support the bear, the weight of the bear, so he doesn't sink through your cake, right? Once you place him on top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move out of your way. Now, you also can, you help me guide there him in. There you go, right there. Okay. okay. Now, see, I kind Perfect. of got my fingers in there a little bit, so I just kind of pat that down. And that makes him stable. Now, you could do him on a cake plate, but it's not near as stable as the separator plate. Let me see. And I poked a straw in him here to put his... And that preserves the hole there? Uh, yeah, it actually gives you something to stick the balloons into. Then to finish off the border, it's just a ball right. with a large round tip. And I think one of the things that makes this cake look so cute is the multicolor. He's this, adorable. I could see this cake for a first birthday, second birthday. It would be great for a shower, a baby shower, uh, for an expectant mother. You know, and you could change the colors if you knew it was a little boy or a little girl. You could do the pink or the blue thing if you wanted to. You could do the green. And another cake pan would work just fine because there are all kinds of character pans out there mm -hmm. that you could work with. And he is totally star, which gives him a lot of texture on his body. Yeah. And then just using the multicolors here. Now I've got some little things sticking out because my icing's a little soft, so I'm just going to come along and pat it in. If I had confectioner sugar, it'd be even easier to do. We just finish the border, put some more multicolored dots on him, and he's done. He's done. Well, very special cake for a great occasion. We'll be